Hello, this is Jennifer Gore with St. George Episcopal Church in the Villages, Florida. Today I'm interviewing Steve Casey, a member of St. George who shares his gifts, including music, with us every week. Steve, you have a long history of serving your community and church. Share your experiences from your home in Maine and here today. Well, we moved here from a small town in western Maine. It was 54 square miles and 2,100 people, so there was a lot of opportunity to volunteer there. Uh, I was a firefighter and EMT and served on a couple of the town's committees, like the Zoning Board of Appeals and the Policy Committee. Um, <clears throat> when we moved here, I got involved with a group called the Carpenters for Christ, and we build uh, handicap ramps for people who are in need. My wife and I also recently organized a neighborhood food drive for the Gateway to Hope up in Ocala, and we were quite successful and thank our neighbors for all the generosity. Wow. So you have a gift of music that blesses us every week at Thursdays for services. When did you develop your fondness of music? Well, my, my dad played the guitar and he taught me how to play, but my hands were so small that I couldn't play the chords properly. So um, I, I played the guitar on and off for the, most of my life. When I got here, I took some real lessons and learned how to play correctly, and I think it approved me a little bit. The accordion I started playing when I was nine, um, my mother didn't think I was getting beat up often enough, so she made me play the accordion. <laughs> so <laughs> I took lessons for four years, and when I stopped taking lessons, I just kind of put that in the case and carried it around with me for 45, 50 years. Every time we moved, my wife would say, why are you bringing that with you? And I'd say, well, you know, when I retire, I'm going to play it again. So when I retired, I picked it up and started playing again. I was surprised how, well, how much I could remember. So finally, tell us about the variety of instruments you play. I know it's the guitar and the accordion. I think there's more. There is. I also play the mandolin as poorly as the other two, but uh, <laughs> we have fun doing it. Um, a couple of guys and I get together once a month or so and play in the neighborhood parking lot and all the neighbors come out and we do a little sing along, all social distancing and all that good stuff. Uh, if it's nice out and I'm going to practice my accordion, I'll take it out on the front porch and sit there and play and people throw tomatoes at me and stuff. But, uh, they, they don't seem to mind too much. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that would be fun to walk by and see somebody out on the porch <laughs> playing yeah, the accordion. Yeah. Everybody walks by, usually stops and, and listens for a little while before yeah. they move on. Certainly a, certainly a conversation starter. <laughs> well, thanks for your service of music, Steve. We really appreciate it here at St. George. Well, thank you for having me.